Hello everybody, and welcome to part two of the FNAF bootlegs review. Now, as you can see on this table here, I have a bunch of these bootleg action figures uh, that are still in package because I wanted to open them up and show them off on camera and all that. So the reason I opened the other ones in the last video is because obviously for the Lego ones I had to get them built. I had to put them together and I wanted them to be built for the video. And the Sun and Moon plushies just kind of came in the Amazon bag, uh, but they weren't really, you know, packaged in anything else so I couldn't really open these here. These I really wanted to wait to open. I have barely looked at these guys, obviously I've seen images online. And if you've watched, like, Andy Matronic's review of these, you, you know. But I wanted to experience these fellas firsthand. Uh, but this isn't the only thing today. I actually have a surprise at the end. Three, three surprises, three mystery action figures. If you saw the teaser at the end of the last video, you probably know what they are. But uh, still, if you didn't see that, then you'll definitely be surprised. So let's just go ahead and get started uh, tearing these figures apart because from what I've seen online and from what I see now in person, they look pretty, pretty bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get these figures one by one. We're going to go in probably game order, starting here with Freddy Fazbear himself. So opening him up, taking him out of the package here, he comes with this like microphone but the bottom isn't colored, so it looks really, really bad. Barely even fits into his hand. Uh, yeah, first things first, uh, this definitely, these feel very, 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 very cheap. Uh, there he is, Freddy. Uh, and the first thing you may notice is that these figures are based on FNAF World. So this is, this mold is a mold for, like, Adventure Freddy from FNAF World. Uh, the problem is his colors are like completely wrong. He's like the wrong shade of brown. The nose here needs to be painted. This uh, color brown or like orange almost for the stomach looks terrible. His hat is like top hat is like silver. Uh, yeah, this looks these look really, really bad. So there's Freddy. Um, as far as movement goes, they can only move their arms up and down and their heads like back and forth like this. They have no more movement. The eyes, I mean, they didn't even attempt to really paint those eyes any sort of color. His nose is unpainted. His teeth are painted, but they look awful. Yeah, this guy looks really, 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 really bad. Uh, so that's Adventure Freddy. You know what? Let's give him a whiff. Yep, that smells perfectly toxic. Uh, don't do that. Don't try that at home, kids. I don't recommend you getting these and I don't recommend you sniffing them for sure. Uh, they're probably made with, like, toxic paint, and if I die, oops, I don't think I will. I think I'll be fine from just taking a whiff of these guys, but, yeah, he definitely doesn't smell good. He smells cheap. Uh, the other thing is, like, you can see all these, like, parts of his, all these, like, parts here, like, right here on his hand is, like, and right here, like, a bunch of just plastic that didn't get removed when the mold was taken out. So yeah, that's Freddy. He looks really, really bad. So let's get the next figure here. And that is uh, Bonnie with his head on like backwards. So let's just open this guy up. Uh, he's got this guitar that is like completely bent. Um, and it's like blue on the top for some reason, not like gray. I don't know, this looks really, really weird. His guitar is almost like pink in color as well, like a pinkish purple. That's really, really weird. Let's see if it'll even like fit into his hand. It, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't. It's too loose either way you put it. You can make him hold it like that, but that's about it. Uh, as far as Bonnie himself goes, I don't think he looks quite as bad as Freddy, but he still does look pretty terrible. As you can see here, the paint for like his muzzle got like, they, they like messed it up and it's like on his face here too like a smear is all the way up his face that looks really bad uh the colors are actually a lot more accurate to adventure body than bonnie than than freddy they also got the blue and like his his teeth again feels really really cheap feels like i could like 
lightly toss this and it would completely like fall apart. So that's pretty bad. Right here is like a rough spot. I don't know why that's there, what that is for. But uh, yeah, there's, there's Adventure Bonnie. He looks pretty, pretty bad as well. Not quite as bad as Freddy. Again, they didn't even like try with the eyes. At the very least, they remembered not to give him eyebrows. So, I mean, that's good. And at least like his nose is painted. So still very bad. Not quite as bad as, um, as Freddy, but still pretty terrible. So the next figure here is Chica, or should I say uh, Toy Chica. Let's uh, open her up here. If I can figure out how. All right, listen, we're just gonna rip them into this one. Gracious me. There it is. All right, let her out of there. So here is Toy Chica. They also, uh, another thing that I didn't really mention with Freddy and Bonnie is those heads are really loose. Like if I, if I didn't know better, I would think these are like bobbleheads. Uh, Chica here has like an arm held out to hold like a cupcake or something, uh, but it doesn't come with a cupcake. For some reason, she's looking like really, really hard to the left. So like that looks really, really bad. Uh, you can see like the pink on her panties there has leaked onto her leg. They completely didn't paint her, her legs and feet. These, the, the legs and feet here at the bottom should be orange. Uh, they're not. The paint job, again, isn't quite as bad with Chica as it is with either Bonnie and Freddy, but it sure doesn't look good. Like, they even got paint on her, like, foot there. I don't know how they even freaking managed to do that. Her eyes are, like, they're colored in, but they don't actually fill the entire eye socket. They just look really, really weird. This looks really bad. They couldn't even paint the beak all the way. This this is just gross. This is a terrible figure. Uh, anyways, there's your core three. Uh, moving on. So now, now we have Nightmare Nightmare Foxy. Not Foxy. The set didn't really come with regular Foxy. It came with Nightmare Foxy. So that's really weird. Uh, let's see. Where does he open? There we go. Opening this figure up right here. The packaging is like really, it's really hard to open the packaging. Uh, and I have to say, this is the worst figure yet. Uh, as you can see, he's like the same color as Freddy. He's like brown, where he should definitely be red. Uh, he's like, again, his the, around the eyes and like here is painted that weird orange color when it really, really shouldn't be. He's got, again, leftover plastic like on his shoulder here. His claws are unpainted. His nose, they painted his nose like blue. For some reason, I have no idea why they did that. Um, his legs are like completely unpainted. Like at least his hook is silver. If his hook is silver, you could have at least painted that nose and legs silver as well. But no, he has absolutely no eyes. I don't know what they were thinking there. Uh, his teeth like are like completely unpainted. This <laughs> this figure is awful. Yuck. You thought these three were bad? This one is terrible. I don't really know what they were thinking <laughs> with this guy. They didn't even like, again, they didn't even make a FNAF 1 Foxy. They made Nightmare Foxy, made him the complete wrong color and painted his nose blue like he's been outside in the cold too long. Yeah, this is a really, really crappy figure. <laughs> Moving on. At least they all stand, so that's something. Um, let's go for you next. Looks like the last character from the first game that we have here is the Night Guard, Jeremy Fitzgerald. Even though that's from FNAF 2, uh, they have they they have a name on the top here, but it's not Jeremy. It's like Lyeremy or something. Like L I E R E M Y, Lyeremy. I don't know why they 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 did that. That looks really bad. His arm actually can't move because there's excess plastic on his like shoulder here, which makes it to where his his arm actually like can't move. This one can though. Uh, his face he looks really really bad. Like they have a mouth. I don't know how easy it is to see, but they have like a mouth molded in here. And they like painted outside of the mouth and they didn't even paint all the way in the mouth. 
Uh, his hair is an absolute mess. It's like parts of it are unpainted. He's got a smudge here. His hands are, are blue for some reason. Like maybe he's wearing gloves. It's like the exact same color as his outfit. His, his shoes are blue. This is just really, really gross. This one, like, honestly, the feel of this one, the feel of all these guys is pretty bad. The feel of this guy especially is, like, really, really weird. I don't like this guy. So, yeah, that's that's the night guard. Uh, moving on here, we have... Um, from Five Nights at Freddy's 2, we have the purple man, the purple guy, William Afton, whatever you want to call him. So, opening him up right here, and I'm noticing he has, like... This big old chunk of like plastic on his head uh, that looks really weird and it's like on his butt or like glue or something. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, he has this hammer as an accessory. You can put that hammer on his in his hand, except you can't because it doesn't actually fit. There we go. Uh, yeah, this and <laughs> it fell out. Well, yeah, screw this hammer. So. <laughs> This looks like the, like, Vincent Afton Rebornica toast-loving purple guy of, like, 2014. This looks nothing like William Afton does now. It looks nothing like the game sprite. Again, they, like, have a mold for his mouth, and then they completely neglect to actually paint in there, and there's, like, paint on his chin and stuff. For some reason, his, like, tie and, and badge are silver. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> Uh, but the overall look of this guy, the overall mold is the exact same as for the night guard here. Uh, yeah, he looks really, really bad. If you wanted a, like, 2014 Rebornica purple guy that loves toast, Vincent, then I guess this is what you want. But, like, yeah, this is really, really bad. Next up here we have the puppet. So the puppet, as you can see here opening him up or whatever uh again head is really loose like a bobblehead uh something i'm noticing is that face it's kind of hard to pick up on camera but it's actually pink it's not white at all he has like shoes for some reason he has indents where like he should have colored um stripes not there completely gone uh no tear tracks the paint lipstick right there is like really, really bad. The cheeks are really, really bad. At least he has only like three fingers on his hand like he should. Um, but yeah, this is this is really wonky. I have to say, probably of all the ones so far, this is the best. But that's not really saying much because all of these guys are, are bad. Again, he's got like excess plastic on his shoe. They like didn't even try and, and remove all the excess plastic. Uh, I don't even know why the puppet has shoes. Like, puppet got dripped now or something. <laughs> but, yeah, you can see they just, like, barely colored those stripes on his arm. Um, so, probably the best of the figures so far, but still looks really, 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 really terrible. So, yeah. We then have Mangle. So, that's interesting that they decided to do a Mangle figure. Open, opening them up here. This one actually comes in parts that you have to put together. You have like the head, this leg, and then this like main body piece. So let's see. The leg just connects back there. That wasn't the worst. And then the head should just pop on there. Oh my gosh. It's like impossible to get it in there. You can't see it because it's not on camera, but dang, there we go. So there is your Mangle figure. And I have to say, the mold for this one actually looks really, really good. It actually stands up, even though she's like looking at the sky almost. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon about it standing up. It kind of doesn't want to now. But yeah, all the parts of her, or of her, his, whatever, all the parts of the um, the face that should be pink are like blood red, which is weird. Again, a lot, a lot of scuffs on these. Uh, uh, endo eye is completely unpainted. The hands, these hands should be white. One of these feet, this one right here should be white, but it's not. But I mean, 
And actually, as you can see here, as I put the mangle's head into the socket, it started to like split open there. So as you can see, the quality of these figures is just crap. But, I mean, I have to commend them for, like, actually kind of attempting and somewhat succeeding with making a mangle figure. Like, as far as the, the, where the hands and legs are, all of that is completely accurate to mangle. Um, and as you can see, it does kind of stand up. Uh, so yeah, still pretty terrible paint job, but I have to say the mold of this guy is somewhat impressive. I think that's definitely the best figure we've had so far. It's kind of, it's kind of cool figure. Not gonna lie, definitely not worth it getting this entire set for this one, somewhat, good mangle figure. But yeah. And now we have Springtrap from FNAF Three. So opening this fella up. Again, feels really, really terrible and painted really, really poorly. The mold, again, is not terrible, but like the legs needed to be painted. Uh, this part of the leg needed to be painted. Inside of this needed to be painted like black and pink, but they just did black. It's like it's a dog like chewed off his ear. They just like cut that off or something for no reason. He's got this like psychotic smile. <laughs> Like, it looks really, really freaky, but not, like, freaky in the right way. Mangle fell over, and there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, his nose is unpainted. And it, overall, it's just this weird mix of, like, regular spring trap and adventure spring trap. And it just doesn't look good. Like, the one good thing I can say about this figure is the color that they chose for this guy is at least a little better than what Funko chose. Funko chose, like, a weird yellow. This is at least green, so that's something. But yeah, no, this figure looks really, really terrible. There's like no holes on his arms. There's not even like paint to simulate holes on his arms. His hands are completely intact when in all reality they should be like, there should be endoskeleton and human fingers popping out of there and just, yeah, it should look completely different. This guy definitely looks pretty bad. I'm gonna try to stand Mangle back up, but if, but if it keeps falling, it like, there ain't nothing I can do about it. It's the way the plastic is. Like, the way it's bent. It just, like, bends really, really easily. So, with a f figure like the Mangle with tiny, tiny, tiny limbs. Or, like, really skinny limbs. Again, it just, just doesn't actually want to stand up. So, yeah. Uh, and I think, I think I've saved, seriously, the worst three for last. So, starting off, we have, like, Nightmare Balloon Boy here and okay well that just fell off mangle's just gonna keep falling ain't nothing i can do about it and this guy looks completely just utterly awful like they didn't even attempt to paint him anywhere near the right colors those eyes look terrible his teeth are silver for some reason they made his hair completely black instead of brown his <laughs> like propeller on the top is like skin colored his cheeks are brown instead of red and obviously the biggest thing his shirt is and hat are just all red they're not even like red and blue or red and like like they're not they're not even stripes there's not even like any indication of stripes on here this should obviously be striped red and blue made his pants all black instead of blue and yeah this figure just looks terrible again he's got paint leaking kind of onto his not leaking but he's got paint on his uh like mouth this guy again the mold isn't that bad it, the mold looks like nightmare balloon boy but the figure itself just looks really 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 crappy so yeah that's nightmare balloon boy um right here is very interesting Uh, I keep saying, you know, the molds for these guys aren't bad. The molds aren't bad. It's just the the, the, the the paint job. But the mold on this guy, this is supposed to be Nightmare 
they just reused the FNAF 1 Adventure Freddy mold. Again, head is completely loose. Uh, and it looks terrible. Obviously, this looks nothing like Nightmare. Figures keep falling. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Obviously, you should have stomach teeth right here. He should be completely black. Those eyes shouldn't look like that. His hat, like some of the gold on his hat, which should just be yellow, not gold, has gotten onto his ear. His, like, teeth are, again, unpainted. They're not sharp. He uses Nightmare Foxy's, like, claw hands. <laughs> and it just looks bad because his claws aren't really that long neither are nightmare foxies but still like his feet should have claws on him this this is the worst figure this is the worst figure i mean like bb is painted terribly but at least the mold is okay this guy i mean they didn't even try with any sort of mold they just give him gave him two of foxy's arms and made the rest fnaf one freddy and it looks awful looks nothing like nightmare and honestly, if the colors were off, I don't know that you'd even be able to tell that this is supposed to be Nightmare. So, yeah. Um, and the final figure here is very interesting. It's very interesting, right? Because it's not from a mainline Five Nights at Freddy's game. It's, the, it's one of the FNAF World enemies, uh, which is really weird. So we're opening this guy up, he like he comes in again like Mangle, three pieces. You've got like this main crab head, you have his legs and stuff, and you have this little antennae on top. So I think you're supposed to put the antennae like on here. I don't want to do this no more. All right, Mangle just took a tumble, so that's really cool. And put the legs on here. Okay, it's not a solid connection in the slightest, but there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, there's, God, I can't even keep them together. There's your FNAF world enemy. I believe this guy is called Mech Crab. Uh, I don't believe, I, I know, because I've played way too much FNAF world. This one also looks really, really terrible. Uh, if you've played FNAF world, you know that the these guys are pink. In the trailer, they will, were yellow, so I'll give them like a kind of pass. But in the final game, these guys were pink. Again, there's like plastic hanging off of there plastic hanging off of the shell on the top plastic hanging off of his like spider legs and again this guy just doesn't stay together he falls apart like you can put you can put this head on this body however many times you want but it just yeah it just falls apart so i'm just gonna put him like here he also doesn't really like stand he just kind of plonks which is really really weird so yeah the the weirdest thing about this i mean obviously these are really bad bootlegs none of these figures are good i'd say mangle is the best because of that mold but she he she it, they whatever don't even want to stand up the plastic is really cheap the paint feels really cheap these guys are just really 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 not good in the slightest these guys are really really bad uh so yeah but the weirdest thing to me is just this exact choice of characters you know you have F fnaf one freddy and bonnie all from they're all the the fnaf world versions which is also interesting but you have like F fnaf one freddy and bonnie toy chica nightmare foxy i'll just leave you there laying like that F the fnaf two night guard i assume because i think they were trying to spell jeremy there but they ended up spelling like Lyramy or whatever purple guy uh, the Puppet, Mangle, Nightmare, Nightmare, Balloon Boy, Springtrap, and a FNAF World enemy? Like, I have no idea where this choice came from. It's not all the FNAF 1 animatronics, not all the FNAF 2 animatronics, not all the FNAF 4 animatronics. Like, it's just this random grab bag of, of characters. But also, the really sad thing about this set to me is that, honestly, I feel like it's going to be the only way to get a few of these characters in like figure form because of the way the puppet is and the fact that it can't really stand and the fact that mangle's design is so complicated i feel like funko is never going to make these two characters as figures i would really really like to see them as statues but i just don't think they're going to make them as figures and they're sure as heck not going to do the purple guy or uh jeremy as figures 
Yes, I know the Purple Guy U2's figure was announced, but honestly, I think this thing looks better. I think that Purple Guy's U2's looks terrible. So it really sucks though, because these like really crappy bootlegs are going to end up being the only way that you're going to get any of these figures, or like you're going to get a lot of these characters at all. And I think that just really sucks, because I really want to see a high quality mangle, a high quality puppet, you know, a high quality nightmare action figure. That's just not going to happen, I, I don't think. So yeah. Uh, anyways, that's it for these guys, but I actually, like I said at the end of this video, or like I said at the beginning of this video, there are three surprises that I have left to show you. Three surprise action figures. Again, if you saw that teaser, you know, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into those. So here they are. Obviously, they're in packages just like the other ones, so you can't really see who they are, but I'll go ahead and give you a, a look-see here. It's a Glamrock Bonnie figure, a Sun figure, and a Burn Trap figure. Look at this dude's face. Uh, so let's go ahead and start maybe with the Tamest and we'll go to the craziest. So these guys, the packaging isn't the same, I just have to tear it open. So here is Sun. The paint feels like the material, the plastic and the paint feels the exact same as the other guys. They smell exactly the same as the other guys. Probably toxic. Don't smell at home, please. Uh, yeah, this guy looks bad. The paint job is completely, like, awful. The, the, you know, they made him, like, mostly white, which he's not. He's this, like, tan-ish color. But they made him white. Uh, his arms move, he's like a Funko figure. They, these are molded after Funko's figures, but the joints look uh, completely different. So, uh, and they're very loose, they're very loose joints. They're not like Funko's joints, they're not tight at all, they're very loose. Uh, he comes with this like moon head, but like you can't actually take this guy's head off. So you can't like turn him into moon. So I guess he's just supposed to like hold it. Like, I don't know what else to do with him. But yeah, he looks really awful. Uh, at least he can stand, though, so that's something. And at least he can actually hold the accessory he was given, unlike the other guys. So yeah, this is just really awful. He looks like a rip-off, like, McDonald's character. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, and the other thing with these guys is they have, like, this light... Uh, I guess epilepsy warning, but they had this like light that like flashes when you hold it. I don't know. It's very, very weird. Uh, but that sun again, like they didn't paint any of this. He has like a bunch of excess plastic. Yuck. Um, so yeah, let's dig into Glamrock Bonnie next. Uh, a character that we don't actually know the look of. So we don't know if this is accurate or not, but there he is. He does have movement in his legs. It's because of the pants on Sun that he that he couldn't. Um, this design is just really, really weird. Like, he's got these, like, claw hands like Monty. And, like, the wrist cuffs like Monty. He has these, like, suspenders. And, like, one pant leg is full, pulled fully down. And one of them is, like, just ripped for some reason. Uh, if somebody would let me know where this Glamrock body design comes from... Please do. That'd be really cool. He's got like two different colored eyes. He's got like a blue eye and a, and a red eye. And I mean, I guess he doesn't look too, too terrible. Again, he has a light there that can glow. I guess he doesn't look too awful, but he definitely feels awful. Again, he's kind of an unpainted mess and he doesn't even want to stand. So, uh, but there you go. There's Glamrock Bonnie. The last figure here I think is my favorite out of all the action figures, but not for the right reason. It is Burn Trap. Um, and like the first thing you can see is like this dude's face. He's got this like massive underbite. It looks stupid. He has these like tiny, tiny little ears. He's got like that like random, I don't know if that's supposed to be like an eyeball or something right there, but... I don't know, dude. 
He's actually the most accurate, though, uh, figure. His arms. This arm will stay in place. This arm, though, I'm trying to, like, keep it up. There it goes. Now, but see, like, I shake it and, like, it, sh it just doesn't want to, doesn't want to hold up. These guys feel really, really bad and really, really cheap. But, I mean, besides the head, though, the body actually kind of looks like burn trap. Like, you got, like, flesh bits kind of there. You got, like, flesh on his foot right there. Uh, and he's got this, the one foot that he should have. He's got the endoskeleton hands, the huge endoskeleton hands. But, like, the tiny ears and the massive underbite makes this dude look really, really, really silly. Uh, again, he has this light. Um, so, yeah, the, these joints just don't work. And also, unlike the Funko figures, you're not taking these guys apart. Those joints... The joints are in there, but they don't, like, hold the arm itself up very well. Uh, so let's see. Can we even get him to stand? All right, we can. So there you go. Those are your three rip-off Funko Security Breach action figures. Uh, to pull up an actual Funko figure, I have here Toxic Springtrap uh, for, like, size comparison and stuff. So, I mean, they're about the size of the Funko action figures. They're actually a little bit bigger than the Funko action figures. But, yeah, so that's Toxic Springtrap. He's one of the taller figures because of his ear. But, yeah. So there you go, there's that comparison. Overall, these guys look really, really, really bad, but they look really, really, really funny. So, there you go. There you go. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this two-part series of me looking at some of the these FNAF bootleg figures and making fun of them and actually like praising some of them specifically the Lego figures but especially these guys uh, really digging into these and just reviewing them and showing you just how terrible uh, these FNAF bootlegs are Really, really hope you enjoyed the video, though. Maybe we'll, I'll do a live stream soon here or something where you guys can send me FNAF bootlegs to review for a potential part two to these to this reviewing FNAF bootlegs series. I had a ton of fun making this video. Uh, these were really, really, really fun to to critique. Uh, as far as if you want to know the pricing, it was $20 for uh, all 12 of these figures, the ones that I started with, and it was like $25 just to get all those guys. Uh, so thank goodness for gift cards, right? Because um, I would definitely not be able to do this video without those. But uh, yeah, if you guys really want to see uh, another part to this, if you guys want to see me review more for that bootlegs, if you want to see this kind of become a series maybe, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I know, I know, but I want to know. If, I really want to know because I had a lot of fun making these this this video for you all. So I want to know what do you think of this video? Do you think I should make another part? And if so, what should I review? I already have a few things I want to review, but I really want to know your opinion. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this two part series, uh, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I really did. And I will see you in the next one. It's coming soon. Uh, peace out. Uh, goodbye.